Can you really reverse aging and chronic conditions with food? I have to say yes, and I'll tell you why. I scientifically prove it all every all every month. In other words, we can do a test. True Age, yeah. The the company is called True Age. They have like a three hundred fifty dollar blood test. Well, we we paid about three hundred dollars for it because we bought a whole bunch of for a research study we did. We tested three hundred um, fifty women eating a nutritarian diet, and we test their biological aging markers, their telomere lengths, and the epigenetic changes and epigenetic defects and methylation defects in the DNA. And we had all these markers of aging. And then and and so we compared them to women eating a standard American diet, and we found that their aging markers were, or it showed that they're aging slow when they had a younger biological age. Now the thing is, I have people that come to see me, and I and they stay with us for a few months, and I can check their aging markers, their telomere length, and their skin nutritional scores, and their epigenetic changes, and I can check their levels again three months later after they follow the diet and lost 40 to 50 pounds, and we saw that they actually now have a younger biological age. So people could laugh, and they could point fingers, and they could say you can't age backwards, but I'm saying that when you people switch from unhealthy eating to healthy eating, and they really do this for a longer period of time, we see the markers of biological aging and the markers of cancer and the markers of inflammation change. Just like a person can get rid of their diabetes, and their cholesterol can drop, and their body weight can drop, and their right, and their inflammatory markers like the HSCRP can go back to normal. As people are bringing themselves back to normal, they're actually achieving a slower aging, and in some cases, we really we can see they're actually achieved a lower biological age. So yes, it's we can't stop aging forever. We can't reverse. We can't long term reverse aging, but we can change a person's health practices so for that period of time they're actually aging backwards and get because they're getting in better health and to a younger biological age to the way that they were when they were more unhealthy. You know what I mean? So yes, and so we're we're not going to stop aging and stop death, but we're going to age as slow as we possibly can. So we can live longer and have our full physical and mental faculties when we get older to use them. Which I always kind of feel that's what nature intended. We were never supposed to rapidly age, but with all the processed food and environmental toxins, it, it's been accelerated. That's right. My 40 years or so of medical practice has demonstrated that the life that we should be able to live to 100 years old with excellent um, physical, emotional, and mental health. You know, And I just know all these elderly people who make the rest of the mental health. And they're, you know, and, and they're older, but they don't have any, they're demented or they have, you know, some other diseases. Look at my mother. She's 97 and she drives the car and has a full mental faculties. And she didn't follow a nutritarian diet that good. She just did better than most people. But she took the supplements. She stayed on the last maybe eight years from, 90, from 88 to 97. She's done a much better job. Now she's really on it. But still, at least she has her mental faculties intact. What's the point of being older if you don't, if you're, you know, lost your memory and you can't be and you're not feeling good and can't enjoy your life, you know? So she's 97 and still enjoying her life, you know? Sharp as a whip, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Go grandma. She likes to play games and play cards and she still played golf, you know, and she and she drives around and she does whatever she wants to do, you know, at 97. I know my friends are always shocked when I tell them that my 97-year-old grandma drives, but safely. Like, she has no issue. Absolutely no issue, which is amazing. Well, I'm saying that the patients I've seen over the last over the decades where I've seen people in their 70s and 80s sickly, I've seen those patients of mine and the people I got to know who followed the recommendations I told them to follow and were compliant with a healthy lifestyle. I've seen them get rid of their high blood pressure, get rid of their heart disease and live to be, to live in their late nineties to, you know, to around a hundred years old. So I'm seeing it happen. I'm seeing people living longer and keeping the, you know, that this is really working. And if you're out there right now saying, can he, nutrition or Dr. Furman help my blank condition? Whatever it is, internal cystitis, I see people writing in, heart disease, cancer. The answer is almost always yes. Interstitial cystitis, you mean? You said internal cystitis, but that's okay. Interstitial, yeah. Interstitial, interstitial cystitis, yeah. Okay. I see. Thank you. Um, but just like whatever your health condition is, I just think it's so funny that the answer is almost always yes. I don't think I've ever heard you say no when someone brings up their health condition. 